What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a Chef Joe video. Um, I just wanted to talk really quickly about Diablo 4 Season 1. But before we do that, I wanted to mention the increased drop rates for all of the unique items um, following the Helltide chest patch. Um, it seems that items that were super rare, like the Shaco, uh, were dropping like candy in the Helltide chests uh, for a very short period of time. Uh, unfortunately, this is no longer the case. Looks like Diablo developers have disabled all the Uber Uniques from dropping entirely. So, if you missed out on getting a Shaco, uh, don't feel so bad because I did as well. So, anyways, let's talk about Season 1. So, Season 1 is the Season of the Malignant which starts July 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so there's going to be a new uh, main story, a new boss, new dungeons, and then the Battle Pass will finally go live. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And on July 18th, they're going to be releasing the pre-patch that you can download uh, where you would want to log in to your highest character with the most renowned so that the renowned will get transferred over and there's only certain parts of renowned that will be transferred over and we'll talk about that also as well later in the video uh, they're also adding six new unique items and seven legendary aspects uh, we don't know any details on that however uh, there's going to be a new uh, character which is a priest type character who's going to be like the main guy and aiding us in corrupt and uh, cleansing the corruption um, it, my own personal speculation is it would be really cool if they added like a priest class to the game. Uh, so maybe this is some kind of foreshadowing. Uh, I think that would be really cool. It's uh, something that a new class that has never been before seen in Diablo. So let's talk about like the season mechanics. So basically you would go and find these malignant monsters and you would slay them. And it would drop a corrupted heart. You would then cage the heart. The monster would respawn, and then you kill it again. And it will drop a um, kind of like a gem, but it's like a corrupted heart. Okay, and uh, these are the ones that it kind of looks like. There's going to be 32 malignant heart across four categories. So there's going to be different colors that will go into the respective color slot in your jewelry okay um and this looks like this is going to be the new like corrupted boss the new end game boss uh, i'm not quite sure how that's going to work so there's going to be a new place to farm these malignant hearts it's going to be called the malignant tunnels which is basically like a nightmare dungeon that's been corrupted and uh, Varshan the Consumed is the newest boss battle. So I don't know if it's going to be like Uber Lilith or what the deal is with that. And for those of you that don't know, uh, the new season is going to be completely separate from your uh, characters that you have now uh, that are in the Eternal Realm. So once the season is over, the characters from the Seasonal Realm will be transferred over to the Eternal Realm. And it is possible that... Uh, some seasonal mechanics may transfer back to the eternal realm but they haven't confirmed on that yet so when you start the season right you do not need to purchase the battle pass there's going to be three different tiers the free version uh which anyone will have access to um the ultimate where you get access to uh some of the cosmetics but not all of them and then the premium which is $20 and you will get access to everything and you can skip the campaign if you have already completed the campaign on one of your characters so you do need to complete the campaign before uh, season one if you want to jump right into the seasonal content your mount will be available immediately and you get to keep all of your altars of Lilith and the renown for them and the the map everything else will be reset side quest stronghold um the dungeons 
everything will be wiped. Okay? So, and they're also kind of categorizing this season as these malignant hearts uh, that give you these powerful bonuses, which basically will be like an extra added legendary aspect. Uh, they want you to make you uh, feel like your character is extremely powerful, like almost like broken. And the way I'm kind of visualizing it is towards the end of BFA, if you guys played World of Warcraft, when you had the corrupted gear um, that made like everyone extremely broken in PvP. So here's what the... Uh, the season journey kind of looks like you kind of go out and you'll have to do uh, these quests here and you fill up your bar and once you get the uh, the bar full of the objectives then you claim your rewards it looks like you got some uh, aspects here and a legendary cash and then there's also going to be um, these these essences the season the season blessings the smoldering ashes that you can get that you spend on seasonal blessings okay and the seasonal blessings are basically like upgrades to how much experience you get uh how much gold drops uh how much the chance of malignant hearts to drop um the duration of your elixirs uh can be increased by spending these points and you also this is what the battle pass looks like here's the season uh Sorry, here's the smoldering ashes that you unlock. Um, it has going to have 90 tiers, 27 free, and 63 premium. Right. Um, also, the season is going to last three months. So that seems like you know a good amount of time. There's going to have new stuff in the shop, but you know we don't really care about that. Um, also, things that may have not been covered is um no talks about tournament five uh, i don't know when that's going to happen there's going to be a huge uh 13 page patch update right before season one so i would wait to pick what class you're going to be until that comes out i personally want to be a summoning necro but if it's totally garbanzo then you know i'm probably not going to uh one other thing that we didn't talk about is the scroll of amnesia, which is going to be um, like a way to completely reset your character. Uh, scroll of amnesia, which provides free skill and paragon board reset, so you don't have to like go back one by one. Uh, they haven't clarified any more details on that though. So, quick recap on what you can do to prepare for season one on July twentieth. Number one, complete the campaign. Number two, finish all your altars of Lilith in each of the five zones. Number three, discover 100% of the map. That's it. Thank you for watching. See ya.